they want us to solve this system and they actually want us to use substitution. Now, I wouldn't use substitution for this problem if I had a choice because it would be very easy to multiply this top equation here, the first equation, by positive 5 and then add them straight down and you would get your answer a lot easier by eliminating the y solving for the x. But they want us to use substitution, so we will. So what we're going to do is we're going to change whichever one we want, which the top equation would be the easiest to solve for y. So I'm going to solve for y by subtracting 2x from both sides, and then I'm going to plug this back into there. So I'm going to, I'm going to use my color coding so that you can see how I do that. That's 6x minus 5 times y, and remember what y is. y is 20 minus 2x. Okay. Now, here's the mistake most people make. They forget when they're distributing this 5 in that it's actually a negative 5 that they're distributing in. So I tell people always to change that to make sure they don't make the mistake. So let's write it out. 6x minus 100 plus 10x equals 12. Now let's add like terms. 16x, let's add 100 to both sides, equals 112. x equals divide 112 by 16 and you get I'm gonna guess maybe 8 is that right? 112 divided by 6 is 8 8 80 plus 42 maybe not is that right? 70 no 7 is it 7? 7 yeah it's 7 usually it's a nice number it doesn't have to be but usually it's a nice number so there's x. If x is 7, now let's plug it back in to either one of these equations. I'll plug it into the first one. So that means seven, or sorry, 14 plus y equals 20, which means y equals 6. And now let's check if that's right by plugging in 7 and 6. 7 times 6 is 42, minus 30 is 12. Bam, it works. So 7 comma 6 is our solution to that system of equations.